guys and welcome to Even West Thursday. First off, I would like for you to just ignore my hair. So I was out shopping today and it started to rain so much that my hair was literally soaked through. And yet everybody still wants to live in the UK. No you don't. So, talking about my hair, as you may notice, the bottom of it is blue. The blue will eventually wash off. So the first thing I bought was this crazy colour sort of hair dye. And I got mine in bubblegum blue, so when this washes off, I will put the new one on and it will be brighter. So I will keep you posted with what happened with that. Next things I got were some nail varnishes. This one is called Frostiest Pink and it's the colour I'm wearing now. With this one, because it's quite like a, it's a glossy one, so you need to have another like coat of something like pink underneath, otherwise it just doesn't work. And you have to put loads of layers, then you end up forgetting that you've got loads of layers on, you whack your hand and it's all smudged and... Next up was something I bought today, which is a Barry M sort of blue one called Blueberry, I think. Yes. Yes, Blueberry. This one is a Revlon one, and it's one of those like perfumey ones. I was a bit skeptical about this because I mean I sniffed, sniffed the bottle and it just smelled like nail varnish, so I was like, huh. But um, once it dries, it does smell and it lasts for about a day and I thought it was just really nice and it's a nice colour as well. I got mine in African Tea Rose. One of the next things I bought a few days ago was the Maybelline Baby Lips. I had everyone going on about it and I was like, it can't be that good. So I bought it and it is that good. It really is absolutely fab. And I mean, I loved it so much that I bought another one for my giveaway. So yeah, I'm doing a 500 subscribers giveaway if you didn't know already. Subscribe so you can you know, join in the fun. I got another sort of lip balmy thingy, which was the Barry M Core Balmy. That's funny. And it's pink. I haven't tried this yet, so I'll see how that goes. Another thing that everyone was hyping about was the Revlon Lip Butters. Okay, first off, when I went to go get one, all the test things and all the things were just covered in goo. Like, mine was just covered in, like, goo and it was really gross so I ended up like wiping it down to make sure it was fine but seriously people if you're buying them can you calm down and not get goo everywhere it's not fun for other people and you just ugh. but yeah I'll see how that goes I got mine in pink truffle because I, I thought the name sounded nice oh, I bought a lip liner I don't know why but I just felt like I have to have a lip liner this one's Barry M it took off number three on it so I think it's like Next is skin and stuff. So I bought the um, Kind Eyes roll-on thingy because I suffer from kind of obvious dark circles under my eyes. Thanks, Dad. And I, I tried it earlier and it just, it feels really nice. And because it's like a little metal ball underneath, it's just, it's really cooling and just, it's nice. Next in skincare is, I got the Clinique Moisture Surge Intense Skin Fortifying Hydrator. I like this, it's really good and it smells really nice. It makes my skin feel good, I just, oh, I like this one. Another thing for under my eyes that I got is the Lasting Perfection Ultimate Wear Concealer from the collection in warm medium because I gotta hide the bags under my eyes, make sure everybody realizes, but I haven't stayed up till 3 a.m. I've also bought the um, Clear Complexion Rimmel Powder. Um, I haven't started using it too much yet because it's the one I finished with my last one but after using it a few times I do actually like this one, it smells really nice. Do you ever just love the smell of makeup? I mean, I just, it smells so good. And lastly on the makeup front I bought the Lasting Drama Black Shock Gel Liner from Maybelline because I, I'm useless when it comes to eyeliner, let alone gel eyeliner because I mean the pop thing, yeah, no. I, just, I don't have time for that and I, just, I suck at it so. So you just have to click it up and then the gel comes up and it guides it onto your eyelid. So it's basically like foolproof I should hope because I need it to be foolproof because uh, I'm a fool when it comes to eyeliner. I bought some hair slidey grippy things because they, they have legs and they just disappear, everyone knows that. I went to Claire's and I bought some pizza earrings because you can never have too many pizza earrings. Okay, so I bought a few bags because I like bags. <laughs> this is something I bought for my prom actually and it's just a clutch. And a few years ago, Alexander McQueen did all these, you know, the knuckle disc clutches and then they kind of went out and nobody had them anymore. And I spent so long looking for this that I just, ah. Something else I got when I was in TK Maxx, I bought that in TK Maxx by the way, um, is this Betsy Johnson sort of, I know, a little makeup bag. I was using it as a makeup bag. And it has an E on it for Emma, which is why I bought it. <laughs> Another thing I got in Ticket Max was this purse because, well, mine was kind of breaking. <laughs> I don't take care of my things and I know I should. How cool is this? I got this in New Look. They also had like a lemon one and it was just, it's so cool. The lady at the cashier desk thingy, she said that they got them and they sold out immediately the first time and they're just, can you see why? They're just, ah. 
made a backpack and I didn't want to have a fabric one because I'm not that much of a hipster so I went with this one. It's stripy and smells weird. Meh. And lastly on the back front I got this bag that says my other bag is designer. And of course I bought clothes when I went shopping. First off I got a bandeau because well loads of my shirts are like kind of see-through and yeah I don't really want to have too much bra on display so I bought a hat even though my mum told me not to and I have too many hats and I just I'm going to wear this for the rest of the video. Next up when I was in Primark I bought this I have a soft spot for Louis Tomlinson, not gonna lie, I absolutely love him to bits, so. I now have his face on the t-shirt! Also, I got this, because I feel like everyone has a Hogwarts house, and mine is undoubtedly Slytherin, and it's just, it's, it's my house. I bought a dress! I'm not really into dresses that much, I'm more of a skirt kind of person, but I literally put this on and ran downstairs to show my mum, because I loved it that much, because it's so cute. I managed to put aside my hate of polka dots, and I, I of course, bought a skirt because I, I like skirts. It's so fluffy. Well, it's pretty. I bought shorts because I'm going to France and my mum was like, Emma, you can't have all shorts that literally show off your whole leg. I was like, okay. So I kind of bought ones that cover up my thigh and also this way bugs won't be able to eat me alive. Literally, I'm allergic to bug bites or whatever and they swell up really big and it gets really weird and really gross. So hopefully they can't eat all of me because now I have legs. I bought skinny jeans as well, black skinny jeans, and mum said I'm not allowed to rip holes in them. So I will accidentally on purpose fall over a few times. Because I'm punk rock mom. She doesn't understand. <laughs> but yeah, they are really skinny and I have trouble getting my foot through them. Because I got big feet. You didn't need to know that. And lastly, I bought a long, 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 long skirt. Because I didn't have any like long, long ones. So this is again from Primark because as much as I hate shopping at Primark, I love shopping at Primark because it's like my guilty pleasure. But then I feel bad, but then I feel good because it's, it's shopping. So yes, that is my first haul. As you can tell, I'm not very good at doing this. Mainly because I always write them up on my blog and I will write this one up on my blog as well because that's just the way I do it. I just felt like doing it this way for once. Like and comment anything that you recommend. If you have any of the products, let me know how you're getting on with them. And subscribe because then you can be part of my 500 subscribers giveaway because I'm getting there almost and it's really fun. So yes, I will see you all next Tuesday. So bye. And I was going to do my kissy exit thing, but I can't because I'm sat on the floor. Oh my God, why am I sat on the floor? I don't like seeing sat on the floor. Okay, bye. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I like pastel colours, I like my hat. I have too many hats. I should probably stop getting hats actually.